What's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing good. I've got another air rifle to unbox. This is from Gamo, not from Gamo. This is one that a friend of mine purchased to let me borrow to make some videos with. And this is a Gamo CFX. And this is actually the second one that they've sent me. The first one, the point of impact was probably at least six inches under the minimum that the sights would adjust and you couldn't get a scope anywhere near it so um, the first one had a problem i think with how the barrel was installed into the breech or the um the barrel block on the front of the air rifle but this is kind of a, a unique air rifle for gamo because it's an under lever it's a really neat design i actually the other one I took out of the box and I just shot like probably 20 or 30 times to burn off that that assembly lube, not really even shooting at anything. And I enjoyed using it. I just couldn't hit what I was aiming at. So it's super windy today. I don't know if you guys can see. We've moved into the backyards. I don't know if you guys can see those trees back there. Try to hold still. But this was actually the new rifle and the refurb that my buddy sent me to test out was the Gamo, I forget which one, the Mach 1. So um, the, the Mach 1 was perfect. And then the brand new rifle didn't work at all. Having problems with the box today. Let's see what they sent. Definitely got some good tape on there. The Gamo customer service was really good. So I've got kind of high hopes for this. It was a nice conversation. I forget the lady's name. Actually, I think it was Sheila was the lady's name. Um, nice conversation. Didn't have any problem sending this back. It took them a while to get to it because I, I sent it to them right after Christmas or right before Christmas. And it took them like maybe two and a half weeks to get to it. But as soon as I got the notification that they got it, the next day they were shipping out this one so okay so this is what the cfx looks like we've got the uh, rubber butt pad gamma does a pretty good job with them at the little green thing that that slides right off i don't know why they don't just throw a little bit of glue on that or leave it off or make it into the butt pad but we've got the little green thing you can kind of tell the fit and the finish on this one is a little, a little less quality than the mach 1 mud on me hopefully that's not from the dogs then you've got the Gamo recoil reducing rail there. I don't really know what it does for recoil, but it just lifts your scope up a little bit better if you're running a scope so that your eye aligns with your scope a little bit better. You've got a really interesting breech design here. So this thing is an under lever. You have to, you have to actually pull the under lever down and then once you cock the under lever, you can send it home and then you can load your pellet in there like that. So there's no chance of you mashing your finger right there i think this is a cool design i'm actually going to have a hard time not taking it apart and looking at it i may do that you've got your adjustable rear sights these are metal fiber optic and clearly marked so you've got some nice audible adjustments with some nice positive clicks there not very spongy your barrel's right here it says 900 feet per second with alloy pellets that most of the time is not 100 percent true the finish is already, maybe that's just some oil on there, but it looks like it's already trying to, no, that's just some oil. I was gonna say maybe maybe it's, it's looking like a little bit of rust, but that's just some assembly lube. Then you've got a plastic handbrake slash probably moderator, and then a metal hooded fiber optic front sight. Again, right here, how you lower, how you use the cocking arm is just pull that down and then pull forward. My hands are cold. Your safety is up front. You've got a little fake something right there. I don't know why that's there. Your safety is right there. It doesn't really move a lot. So that's looking like, yeah, that's, I think that's one of the, I'd have to look at the, the specs, but I don't think that that's a B19 trigger that you could modify with a, a RC roller bearing. But let's shoot it a few times. I've got a few more minutes. So here in the backyard, I don't have a target stand. I actually need to make a new one. Don't have a target stand, but I've got a little can on a stick back there I've been shooting for about two years so <sighs> something biting me this is how you load the pellet into the breech down in there then just kind of send it home then you just rotate that back over and then you're ready to go we'll burn off that assembly lube and then actually try to hit something so I'm on the third shot 
I'm hitting my little can there. I think that the rotating block is good, but for fat, cold fingers, I'm finding it hard to load some pellets in there. I think this is gonna be a good candidate for a pellet pin. Also, another interesting thing about, sorry about the wind. Another interesting thing about this air rifle is it's a Springer. This is not a nitro piston gun. This is an under lever Springer. So I, I like my Chinese B3 a lot. One day when I grow up, I want to pick up an HW 77 or 97. This gun is kind of right there in between those two. So I think that was about five shots. I'm going to end the uh, burning off the assembly lube portion there because I'm getting cold quick. I'm shooting Crossman Premier hollow points. What I'm going to do now is go grab something to shoot really quick and see if I can pull off just a quick. That's about 10. It's probably about 13 yards right there. I'm going to go grab a piece of cardboard to shoot and we'll see what kind of group this thing will do just standing just a, a casual group and see what this thing's doing let me know what you think about this thing down in the comments while I get set up okay I went and got my little tracheom shooting stick this company sent me this little tripod they actually sent me two I'm gonna send one to my buddy at uh, GB outdoors as soon as I get some spare time buddy but I figured this would be a good opportunity to use this thing just shooting offhand just seeing if if this air rifle if i need to send it back that's what i'm basically doing right now okay let's see what kind of group this thing will do again i'm shooting the crossman premier hollow points and what i'm after for this little shooting session i'm going to be doing a full review of this in a couple weeks i'm going to mount a scope up on there and do a pellet test with gamo pellets probably put a bsa outlook on here or i may even use that scope it actually the other one didn't look that bad but this video i just want to see if i need to send this thing back so let's see what kind of group i can do uh, just messing around right now honestly don't think that i've gotten to shoot at all in maybe three weeks so even though i'm in a rush right now i've got to go pick my kids up here in a little while I'm still grateful hope you guys are getting out hope you hope it's a little warmer where you're where you guys are at than it is here i know some of you guys up north y'all been sending me emails and, and texts and stuff and I feel bad for you some of you guys the trigger honestly doesn't feel that bad kind of spongy my oh, lord it's cold okay i can't remember if i cocked it or not we'll know in a minute i did let's do one more and this is not the best way to hold this i'm in a hurry and, and slightly lazy today and we had a windstorm the other day and my shooting table got blown off into the woods that way so hadn't uh, fished it back out short on time so probably going to want to use the artillery hold with something like this even though it is still an under lever it's still an under lever that are, that didn't really make sense but you guys know what i meant i'm going to go check that out and uh see if i need to adjust this and maybe it'll be a really tight groove and if it is i'll show it to you guys i just kicked my pellets into my yard not a bad group they were crossman premier hollow points anyway i just need to go up some so Move your rear sight the way you want the point of impact to move. So I'm gonna go loose, lefty loosey. Three, four, five, seven, eight. Let's go eight, that's what felt good. Then I need to go left, so I'm gonna go clockwise. Nope, counterclockwise. About 10 clicks there. I'm gonna dig some of these pellets out of the grass and uh, shoot another group. It's chilly out here. Shot two. I do not hate the iron sights. I like these iron sights on these gamos. Fiber optic. I like that they're metal, adjustable. I like the sights a lot. Last shot, I cannot feel my fingers. So this is gonna be the last one regardless of, or is it irregardless of if this is a good group or not. That one a little left, but let's go check out this group so I can get going. All right, so here's our first group right there. I was aiming right here. And then there's our second group. So 15 yards right out of the box. Not the world's worst work from me. Um, I do think it's interesting that I moved it up eight and over 10, and it only moved it maybe an inch or so over there. So I'll definitely get to fine tuning the zero while breaking in this air rifle and then mount a scope up on there. Here's my dude. He ripped his uh, 
I opened yesterday chasing something. Had to glue his little face shut. But mount a scope up on there. Lost my train of thought. And do a pellet test with Gammo pellets. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been trying to script videos and keep them tight and all that stuff. And uh, I think I'll continue to do that for the for the bigger like review videos and the product videos. I miss just kind of turning the camera on and running my mouth and shooting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video again. I enjoy making these too. But we'll see you guys later.